All right, let's check out what season five is looking like right now. Oh my god, look at that transition, bro. I'm listening to emo rap right now, and I'm like, SGL, brother. All right, let's go by the tiers real quick. I'm not going to be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. but anyway, so Rain Factory right now in season five or summer 2024, as we call it here, uh, Rain Factory is number one. Friendly, whoever's in that one, is number two. Still Friendly is number three. The Stepping Legion, the name change during their whole PvE phase, their emo phase, uh, at number four. In the Force, just at number five again. What the fuck is going on? Dude, what is going on at Force? Is Ken playing or what? What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, this is what they mean by the Friendly Family. Uh, I like to call it the Friendly Corporation or Mafia. Yeah, TSL got wrecked, dude. From one to fourth, that is just, that's hard to swallow, huh? Uh, I don't know, Rice asked me, about, but let's find out. Okay, let's go to legend, Legendary. So DPS is number six. They went from 10th to six, dude. I mean, okay, listen, this is like fresh data, only a couple days in. This shit changes within a week or two. But it's just crazy to, I, this is my favorite part to see who's, Who's where at the very beginning or near the beginning? Uh, so DPS at six. Nice to say you woke up. Joxy's uh, not lying to us. Asgard at number 10 and Shadow at nine. Oh my frick. That's right. If you want the junior analyst to show up, uh, there has to be official requests in chat. Damn, that's insane. We have a lot of PvE showing up. Just like from the community uh the community um comment. Alright, Wolf Blood at eleven. Not a good thing to see, but we're still within the top fifteen, so I guess I'll take it. Prosor at twelve. Oh, so this is resolve. Resolve at thirteen, huh? Who's lead does anyone know who's leading resolve? And are they PvE or PvP? Can anyone tell me that? Cutie with the $2. Thank you so much. Junior Analyst. Let it be known that Cutie has requested the presence of Junior Analyst. An <laughs> Analyst. Crazy Joe. Who the fuck is Crazy Joe? Is that the... Is that Crazy from, from Koi? From Nice of the Internet? There's no way, right? Like, there's no way. Crazy Joe from Babel? Dude, is Crazy Joe the dude from Knights of the Internet? And their PV. Okay. And the Colt, that's Fred. So I guess it's been revived. And then there's uh, Elsa's Guild. So ZCK uh, number 16. Drifters actually pushing into the SGL at 17. Uh, Italia at 18. Are they like Italian? <laughs> well, it says Pison Jr. get more fans than Pison ever got for real. That's so true, brother. Uh, Wolf at 19 and TPC at 20. The same, pretty much the same position. <laughs> Who the hell is Afterglow, dude? Who's Afterglow? Are they PvE? Afterglow at 21. And then House of Bamboozoo, a tier 2 guild. At 22, Maria the Crow is in the same exact position. Golden Arrows getting fucking dumpstered on. And then Heaven and Hell after Dark did all that grinding. They're in the top 25 again. With a new with a new icon. They're not the flame. They're not the flame anymore. Librarian says it is the Italian guild. Okay. I've never seen Afterglow before. Yo. Me too. And yeah, I guess the H, &H is top 25 right now. Nahida's guild. What's that? <laughs> Who's Nahida's? <laughs> and Izakal says rip golden arrows, dude. <sighs> Rest in peace. I never thought I'd see a day where they fell almost out of the SGL. Okay. Oh, look. Cords in global. He's not in stream chat because he knows he has to face uh, Step and Chill not on the SGL. Yeah, who's Nahida's? I don't know who that is. But they, they're they the leader of Afterglow? All right. 
Okay. So that's season five. Yeah, so the tie-ins aren't there. Oh, you know what? Let's look at tier two. Let's see where, if anyone... All right, so Blazing Beast is there at freaking nine positions up, dude. Holy shit, where's Vex? That is just insane. That is insane. Uh, Glorilla Wizards at 27. Church of Skitty, another, the newer guild on the block. At 28. The Brotherhood at 29. Alpha and Omega at 30. Blackwater all the way at 31. Holy shit. And then here, let's let's adjust. Uh this one? Yeah. Let's adjust. And then we got Reapers at 32. It's a new name. Newbies all the way down at 33. Uh Black Dragon at 34. And Step and Chill. Step and Chill at 35. Insane. Before we move on, any predictions? for uh summer 2024 because i think asgard's gonna do great um and just looking here let's go like this i've never seen like rain factory is held to the first position very briefly once before i believe or number two one of the things uh but rain factory i, I believe like just not low-key because they've been you know the third guild, the third, the top third guild throughout the whole season of uh, spring. But I think Rain Factory is like low key just been leveling up. Like this is the strongest I think Rain Factory has ever been. Uh, and then the friendly guilds, uh, it's surprising. Usually they're not competing with each other, uh, but here they are both in celestial. We saw this before. We saw this in the beginning at like the fourth and fifth position, um, where they've kind of like popped in at the same time. Or and then one dropped, you know, just below into legendary. Um, but I I have high hopes for Asgard. I am rooting for Rain Factory. I've always rooted for them. <laughs> um, I'm not too sure. I Guilds I'm shaky on. I'm not too sure about Yi. Um and I'm hoping for the best with the PvE guilds, but they usually, you know, they hit the curb <laughs> a lot sooner than others. Uh, and of course that I fully believe in Wolfblood will be top 10 uh, yet again. I, I just, I truly believe that. But yeah, I mean, there's some great names here. All right. Chat says, Ezekiel says Asgard top 15. Shadow says five PV guilds in the top 12. Mallory says, I've been, I've been here. Couldn't watch. Oh, okay. Never mind. Tansy says, I think RF will be first. Tansy's going to the RF right now. Circle says, Autumn planned those wars flawlessly. So shout out to Autumn in her strategic planning. Kim first wants a bottle in the warmer. <laughs> okay. it's a great prediction. Joxy says, RF at number one. Two, one of the friendlies. Uh, three, TSL. Four, murder of the universe. Five forest, six other friendly, seven DPS, eight wolf blood, nine ye, ten shadow garden or resolve. Now that we're gonna remember this, that's interesting. That, that's like balls to the wall take right there. Bomb says, I want to see DPS take and hold number five. I don't know about that one, brother. I mean, the best time to do it is now because them and the forest are like earning neck and neck. Her voice says, I reckon the force is going to drop from the top five. I wonder if that happens, but then Ken just like. You know wakes up and then catches you know makes up the difference autumn says was a group effort to start out strong and i died a little inside when wolf passed us up <laughs> little miss viking says asgard will stay top 10 dr says we will def do our our most to stay there okay all right so that's season five predictions